Fusion 360. Let's first take a look at the drawings from Titans of CNC. Sheet number one of our drawing, we have our top view with a couple circles in it. And then we have some line geometry in here that looks like it's been offset. And then we fill that space in with some radiuses. Once we have our sketch placed, we're going to extrude the part, 750 thousandths of an inch. Moving on to sheet number two. Sheet number two, we're going to put some circular pockets in here. And then we're going to drill a whole location through the part. Sheet number three, looks like we have this O-ring groove that we're going to cut in. And that is everything that we're going to make. So let's jump over to Fusion 360 and make these binoculars. For over here in Fusion 360, the interesting fact about this particular drawing is there's no datum location landed on here. Um, this is a, an interesting part where you can actually choose the datum location. And for me, I'm actually going to use the bridge as our datum. I'm going to, because the bridge is a circle, I'm going to go C on the keyboard. I'm going to choose my top plane. And then I'm going to place my circle concentric to our origin here. The diameter of our circle is going to be 787 thousandths. And then I'm going to go and put a circle down here at one inch, 950 thousandths. And then another circle over here at the same diameter. Afterwards, I'm going to um, add some constraints in. These two circles, the center locations, are horizontal to each other. And then I'm going to add my dimensions in. This circle from the origin is 1 inch 750 thousandths wide. And then the same thing over here. And then I'm going to click on the original measurement here and I'll put a variable in and copy that in for me. In addition to that, the location, the vertical location here from our center is 582 thousandths. Now that we have our circles in place, all we need to do is kind of connect the dots here. We're going to go L on the keyboard. I'm going to draw a line from the center location to the center of our bridge, and then from the center of our bridge to the center location there. Now the distance, um, we're actually going to offset this line 200 thousandths in each direction, which will give us a total distance of 400 thousandths. I'm going to go O on the keyboard for offset. I'm going to offset these lines 200 thousandths. I'm going to repeat it, O on the keyboard, drag this one up, just like that. This inner line here, I'm going to change that to a construction line by clicking on it and pressing X. And then we're going to trim away the extra portion of this line here using T on the keyboard. We're going to start up here. We're going to trim away that extra. Just like that. Notice when I trimmed away, um, some of our dimensions disappeared. That's why our lines went from black to blue. So I'm going to add those back in using my dimension command, D on the keyboard. I'm going to add my dimensions in. Just like that. Now that I've got my basic line geometry in, I'm going to right click and press and pull. We're going to select these five components here. And we're going to extrude this 750 thousandths of an inch into our binocular shape. If 
We have some corner fillets over here that we're going to add in. We're going to go to modify and down to fillet. We're going to click on the four lines on the top of our part. And then we're going to orbit our part over and select the four lines on the bottom. These corner fillets are 375 thousandths. And that will give us kind of a, a really nice radius edge leading into our nose piece. Sheet number one is done. Moving on to sheet number two. Sheet number two, we have a hole in the center of our binoculars here, and then we have a pocket, a circular pocket. We're gonna create a sketch on the top of our part. We're gonna do this by going to C on the keyboard, and then we're gonna click on the top of the part. Be mindful you are not clicking on these planes here where our triad is located but we are clicking on the top of the part. I'm gonna move my mouse over to where I think the center is and notice that Fusion 360 will actually um, give us this automatic concentric constraint. I'm gonna click there and drag my mouse out to 550 thousandths. I'm gonna repeat that circle over here, making sure to find the center location There it is. And I'm gonna repeat this just like that. In addition to having these holes here, I'm gonna go C on the keyboard and draw out the circle for our pocket. These are gonna be dimensioned at one inch, 380 thousandths. And we'll do the other side the same exact way. After you have your four circles dimension, we're going to right click and press and pull. We're going to start with the smaller circles first. We're going to click on them and over in our pop-up window where it says extent, we're going to change from distance to all. And then we're going to hit this little flip button because notice the direction of our arrow right now. The arrow is going up. We want it to go down to cut away and then press OK. We're gonna go over to our browser window and turn sketch number two back on. Once sketch number two is back on, we're gonna right click, press and pull, and we're gonna choose that circular pocket down here. Our dimension that we are gonna type in is negative because we're going into the part, 500 thousandths, and then enter. Once you pull, press and pull that pocket, you can turn off the visibility of sketch number two. And we're ready to move on. We're moving on to sheet number three. Sheet number three has this offset um, pocket for like an O-ring groove. Um, this is gonna be a little bit different than anything you've done thus far. We're going to go C on the keyboard for circle. We're going to click back on top of the part again. We're going to go concentric to the other two circles that we had. And this time our dimension of our circle is one inch 600 thousandths. We're going to repeat that over here on this side. This time when we press and pull, we're going to choose this geometry here. And then in our pop-up window, we're going to go to start offset plane. This is very similar to the Titan 4M. Our offset is going to be the bottom distance. So we're going to choose minus 225 thousandths. And then the distance itself is the thickness of our O-ring groove, which is 125 thousandths. And then we're going to press OK. Notice over here we have our O-ring groove now. We can actually go up to inspect and then section analysis. We can click on the top of the part here and drag this down 
and you can actually see that o-ring groove kind of appear and disappear throughout our part and we'll hit cancel to turn off the section analysis there Almost done with this part. Last thing that I always do is I chamfer my part. We're gonna go to modify down to chamfer. If we go back to sheet number two, there's a pretty large chamfer at the bottom of our part um, where these holes are. We're gonna click on these two lines here and these need to be chamfered at 50 thousandths of an inch. We're going to right click and repeat. And then the rest of our part is going to get chamfered at 10 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to choose all the remaining bounds of the geometry. So the top of the part, the tops of the holes, the bottom of the part, and the bottom of the holes. And we're going to chamfer these at 10 thousandths of an inch. This is a good opportunity, double check your part, make sure all of your geometry is in place. And this concludes how to 3D model the Titan 8M in Fusion 360.